don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification okay guys how are you doing i hope you're doing well welcome to our youtube channel in this tutorial we are going to learn how we can create an authentication system in Django. this will include a user registration form where we'll be able to register a user a login form where we'll be able to make a user logged in to our home page and log out right actually this is uh, a tutorial series which you will have about four videos video number one is introduction right video number two is how we can create a user registration video number four is how we can create user login and a video number four is how we can make a user logged out after logged in right so before we start with a part number one which is introduction let me show you a simple demo of how our final output should be at the end of this tutorial series right so this is our log log in page right here you can see we can put username and password once we log in if we put a wrong credential we won't be able to log in but if we put um if we put a correct credential we can actually log in right so here you can see this is our home page and here is logged in as moses right and here i can log out right but not only that we can register here i can type my name motek my email is motek at gmail dot com then my password is motek then i register right here you can see account was created is successful if i log in username is motek password is motek we can see we are able to be redirected to the user home page right so this is uh is what our final product will be at the end of this tutorial series right so this is a demo uh, here we are going to start with a uh, part number one which is introduction and how we can create a project and how we can create an app before we call on let me tell you what are the requirements for you to call on doing this project requirement number one make sure that you have installed the python in your computer requirement number two make sure that you have installed the django in your computer requirement number three make sure you have installed the sublime text editor and the requirement number four make sure you have installed the pycharm ide requirement number five make sure you have installed the sqlite browser right so those are the five requirements for our project okay <clears throat> so le le let me let me cross let me stop this project right here we are going to create a project named the motec right so django django admin start project motec actually our project is already created so change the directory to the project folder motec then after we need to create an app so django start up django start up 
let me let me give a name blog right so that's it <coughs> now we have actually created an a project named the motec and an app named as blog so uh before we carry on with other thing let me tell you some important things we should do actually we need to make changes in setting.py of our project right in setting dot py of our project we need to specify the 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 path of temperature we need to to register and install the app we need to make a setting to the database we will be using if we see my square sql write 3 post square post square and so on after that <coughs> we'll make a setting of home redirect and a log log in redirect right so <coughs> here we're going to open the setting.py of our project so as i've said that our project is motec and uh, this is our app name na named as brog right <coughs> so i'm going to open motec then setting.py right so here there are, are important setting we should do so in setting number one we are going to do is this so let me let me copy this right i'm going to copy this then i'm going to paste it here i'm going to paste it here after that we are going to we are going to to register an app we have in, we have we have created right so in install the app here we need it to add app named blog then the next setting is to 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 make a set to 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 make to specify a path of template director light so let me copy this then i paste here in template i'm going to paste it here right after that the next setting we are going to to do is to we are going to specify we are going to specify the the type of database we are using right for our case we are going to use sqlite so if you are going if you are using mysql postgresql and so on you will specify your database setting here database setting should be here right after that the next the next setting is to include this at the end of your setting.py <coughs> so let me copy it then i'll paste them here so for the time being let me comment this two lines right so after after saving the changes it's a time to to run migration for our database to be created right here you can see in our project folder we don't have uh, sqlite 3 database so after running migration will create a database right so here is python manage.py manage.py make migrations 
right after that we need to migrate python manage.py migrate right so so far we have uh we have you can see here there is db.sqlite3 which is our database right so after making the setting or making the configuration in setting.py and making migration now we can start django server right so python manage run server okay so once we refresh our page we can see this is the default django page and this is django 3.1 so actually this is an end of video number one in our tutorial series uh just to remind you of what we have covered from the beginning of this video actually at the beginning of this video we made a simple demonstration of how our final project will be at the end of this tutorial series then after we created um we created a project then after we created an app after creating application and a project we made some configuration in settings.py of the main project folder after that we made a migration to make sure that we have our sqlite database ready for users so actually that is an end of our tutorial uh, in the second video of this tutorial series we'll create a register form and i will be able to register a user right so Keep in touch. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, put comment, share, and subscribe for next videos update. Thank you and see you in the next tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications.